uh, as we switch over here to the dollar. Here is dollar sign DXY, and uh, here is that uh, megaphone uh, that uh, has been forming in here. And this really looked like a big reversal right in here, but as the, the war took a hold, then the flight to safety came in, and it moves up to the top of the megaphone right over here. Now, because this is so strong and momentum has gotten powerful again, it is suggestive of the fact that more dollar bids could come in and uh, get through that megaphone and even up into these FIB extension areas. So you can see we have the several tracks in there. And that's what we do when we're not exactly sure. We want to get a good sense for what could happen. If the dollar does peak in this megaphone area, then it would likely do something like this. But if it gets up through that area, up into the FIB confluences here or way up over here, then the pullbacks are likely to be to higher levels. And this is just simply all a consolidation in here for uh, higher prices off of this big upside move. So this, uh, the, the, what we would expect right now is that it would continue to try to get up through here and then have some pullbacks. And right now the support in here is about 96 and a half down to about 95.80. Uh, and uh, the, the, these are rising right in here based on the strength that we're seeing in the dollar. And if it gets through here, then the supports are going to be higher. And uh, when we look at the euro currency, you'll see that it really looks like the euro currency uh, is giving us a sign of breaking down. And with the euro currency weighing heavily uh, on the index, uh, a, a heavyweight in the euro, I'm sorry, the euro in the dollar index, uh, that uh, then indicates the dollar could go higher. And I'll show you that in a moment. Here's that megaphone right over here. You can see also as it shows up. Now the resistances that we see right over here may be up to about 98 and a quarter, but then uh, it's suggestive of a pullback in here. So there's those supports again uh, as they show up. And again, they are rising. Look at the way it moved away from touch those VTLs and then began to move up. That's pretty amazing. It was correcting, as you can see, as it's gone uh, positive to neutral to positive to negative. You can see that. And now positive again as the slim ribbon begins to widen. So money is moving into the dollar as a flight to safety. Uh, and that uh, bid could certainly remain in here. This uh, uh, th There's hardly a way that it looks like this Russia-Ukraine uh, situation, this war, this terrible situation is going to get uh, resolved very quickly, and that is going to keep a bid coming in these flight to safety uh, type instruments. So that's a look at the dollar and the weekly top of the megaphone, the daily in here, of course, same thing, top of the megaphone, momentum increasing, and pullbacks uh, are likely to be only in uh, m uh, minor pullbacks, and then setting up again uh, the advancing phases right over here, as you can see. So this is beginning to translate in a positive way, uh, and that's why I'm saying this all could be just a consolidation for higher prices yet to come in the dollar. Now, that is a change of what our analysis was, which actually we thought looked like it was a big top forming and a big bottom in the euro, but things do change, and we see that in here.